Carlos Williams himself, who said, the only person I ever worked with was Kitty Hoagland. Kitty, if I can call you that, uh, your relationships with, relationships with William Carlos Williams go back to the early 1930s, I believe, and you lived very close to him. There's a famous story about his publisher and you're telling uh, his fortune with cards. Can you tell us something about those days? Yeah, uh, I told his fortune. Not by tarot, by regular cards. And I told him that I saw within the next week he would have a letter from a new publisher who would be uh, the... Uh, would make him really as a poet and would be the publisher for the rest of his life. So uh, Bill looked at me in amazement. He said, I can't imagine who that would be. So uh, two or three days later, Florence, Florence stopped me in the street. That's his wife. Uh, and uh, let me kill you, you know. Bill is astounded. He said, just this morning at breakfast, he opened his mail and here was a letter from Jim Lachlan who is starting a new publishing company called New Directions, and he wants to publish your book exclusively. So, uh, he did, and it was a lucky thing for Bill, he did. Well, Alan, you wrote a letter to, from an unknown young poet to an unknown old poet. Yeah. That was in the 40s. I, I took a walk with Williams around here once. You did? Yeah, we, uh, we did, he, he liked what I was doing, and I said, I used to live around here, and I used to play around here, right in this spot. And so we came walking around on the bridge. And then down below here, along uh, by the river, there was a, there's a drink. By the river, there was a, there's a drink. With water power that land, down through the ocean level, we could use that again, like heaven. Thank you. 
refrigerating concrete on the cat tail marshes. Pass below. Hey, old daddy, I know where I'm going. Father, then, don't cry anymore. Mama, there, underneath the floor. Brother, then, please mind the store. Old auntie, there, I hear your Inside, we're going to see some of the students from William Patterson College who are doing a movie on Patterson and some of the great poets that came from this town. Going upstairs inside of one of the old buildings now. See some work that's being done by some of our elementary school children. What exactly goes on here? In uh, the early 30s, uh, DuPont took over the third floor of this building, and it was here that they uh, developed uh, rayon. It was also used as a rayon manufactory during World War II. I think we're, uh, we're looking at the schools right now at the very end of the building. Right. Just at the end of the Second World War, huh? Right.